Hi, my name is Aaron Liberator. I co-run Sturt River Records with Chris Liberator and I've been a DJ for 25 years. Been a while, yeah. A long time. We play mostly hard techno and acid techno, which is a brand of music that pretty much comes from the scene that we pretty much were at the start of. So. Was, was acid techno popular before the techno took over, like 88, 89? It, it became, it, it existed from probably 92, 93, uh, maybe 93, 94 when it actually became acid techno. So it didn't really exist before. So it's a, it's a music that we, in a way we started, but it was, it came from other people. You've been DJing for over 25 years. Uh, how was the party in 1990? How was the party in uh, 2017? Well, you know, one thing people say, it must have been better when you were starting. It must have been awesome. But we started very small, bad sound system, cold warehouse, just a few people. You know, it was really hard. And it was fantastic when we got the party going because it was what we wanted. But it's come a long way since then, you know. Yeah. And, uh, do you think like, the, the people changed? No, I think underground people that come to underground parties are the same in their mind. So I don't see a change in that way at all, except it's a different generation now from the one that came in obviously in 1990. But I think the mentality and the type of people is, is the same. You said when you play both in uh, rave parties, so sport parties and in festivals, what do you think are the differences? Depends on the festival. If it's commercial, then it's different. It's, uh, you know, in a paid festival, you need to be entertained. You are there to uh, get value for money. Whereas the free festival is is really a chance for people to basically do what they want to do without restriction. And the same with the squat party. This is the idea of it. it it's it's like, in a way like anarchy. It, it's it's without restrictions, without boundary. So for some people, it's too much because it's. Uh, perhaps dangerous or, or they feel it's dangerous, it's not organized. But for those that feel they don't want to pay a lot of money to get into a club and they don't want to be part of the uh, society, then that's what you have is the free party. So who do you think uh, is a person who decides, okay, I'm going to listen to techno in a rave party and a person who says, no, I'm going to a festival. I mean, they're, they're one in the same. If it's from the free party movement, if it's a free party festival, they're the same. But if it's commercial, it's, it's the people that go to... Well, here's an example. The people that go to a squat party do not go to uh, clubs or festivals that you pay to get in because they want to go to somewhere that belongs to them where they don't have to pay, they don't get told what to do. So they're never going to the festival to pay lots of money to go in, so. Uh, the quality of this documentary also started when I read a comment on YouTube about Spire Tribe. And there was someone uh, saying, oh, Spire Tribe uh, are the ones who mostly, mostly contribute to the concept of free party, and now you have to pay 20, 25 pounds authority to be most commercial out of London. They all they sold their souls to capitalism, their commercial, blah, blah, blah. Why, why do you think they wrote that thing? Oh, it's always been there. You know, the thing, you can still go to a free party and pay five pounds to entry or go free, you know, you can. And even in 1990, you could pay a lot of money to go to the club. I think at the public, with say like Spiral Tribe, in France, they became very big. And, you know, they get asked to play for money in clubs and they get paid to, or some of them and they really deserve it but it's a different place you know people get to hear their music they get the feeling of it but you cannot put the two together you can't put free party and clubs together they are two separate things but we can travel from one to the other as as a person that goes or a dj or a musician yeah sure and in terms of like music play literally do you play with violin? Yeah. Has it seen change in you know, what's in 1990? Or DJs, you can play Yeah, I mean, it's digital now, you know. I play digital as well. It, 
I think when it started, the digital thing, with first with CDs, people were very, no, it's not real. And it doesn't matter what, what way you play, if it's vinyl or, or digital, it's just the feeling, it's got to be right, that's it. It's simple, yeah? How do you think that people, the party goers, see you as a DJ? I mean, well, who's a DJ for the sport? Uh, okay, if you play, um, you play in a club or in a festival, that's where people pay. Uh, they are fans of your music and you as a DJ. And you kind of ha want to, you have to perform. They want to see you punch the air, relate to them. They need you to kind of interact and, uh, you know. If you do that at a squat party, you'll, someone will throw something at you because if you try and show off, or, or it's a real no-no because the DJ is the same as they are. So if you start going, like this, go, oh, you know, it, it's, it don't, they don't like it because it's, you're, you're um, putting yourself above them. It's very good that the DJ is not the same level of party goer. And uh, how, how, what is that brings people to look for a stronger experiences like going to a rave party, you know? Because it's life is hard, you know, work is r hard, Com you know, you feel dragged down, you need entertainment, you need, but most importantly, you need something that speaks to you, that you feel you're accepted by. So the people that go to squat party, they feel accepted by the people they go with. And the same, someone who goes to a commercial festival, they find people that are like them, it's a simple thing. So that's really what it is, yeah. It's a lot with dance music, and especially with the underground, it's always seen in a negative way. It's always, in, you know, it's too much drugs or, the, you know, the dirty parties, dirty people. And there's so much positive about it. And I wish people came and saw it because I've seen it and it's been amazing. And I'm really happy that I've got the chance to spend all that time, the last 25 years, experiencing it and having so many friends through it. It's, it's been wonderful.